July 21st, 1964, is a date that Basri Sumani will never forget. As a young boy, he joined school friends for a day of peaceful celebration and feasting to mark the birthday procession of the Prophet Muhammad. Every year during Prophet Muhammad's birthday, we used to go to Lorong 12 Gelang for makan. We only get that kind of good makan only once in a while. So as a small kid, we always look forward to that. Basri joins 20,000 other Malay celebrants at the Padang. At about 1 o'clock or something like that, we will all assemble at the Esplanade, where there will be a procession, most of them carrying banners. Leading Malay figures gave commemorations and speeches in front of the city hall. At 4 p.m., the procession moved off. Basri walked alongside his school friends through the city towards Gelang. We had to pass a certain road, and one of it is Kampung Supu. Kampung Supu today, I think, is Bavendor Street. And it was there that suddenly something happened. Even today, it is unclear who started the first attack. But what is certain is that angry exchanges between Chinese bystanders and Malay marches led to an outbreak of fighting. As the atmosphere worsened, Basri and his friends made their escape. When the rights erupted, then a few elderly people just grabbed hold of us, dragged us, uh, and we just follow. Our parents were very worried because they heard on radio. There was a racial crash, you see. And for one night, we didn't come back. We were under the shelter of the Malay family at Jalan Sultan. By then, news of the violence was spreading with fear and misinformation fueling the rage. The riots brought the entire police force into action. As fighting overwhelmed areas of the city, armed forces were mobilized to break up the Chinese-Malay clashes. First, they were abusive across the road. Then suddenly they started throwing things at each other. So I wedged the, my soldiers in between them and we fired a few tear gases. The central government in Kuala Lumpur imposed curfews to clear the fighting off the streets, but it took days to stop the violence. Just weeks later, a fresh outburst of more deadly rioting. These events in 1964 mark one of the island's darkest times. To explain the events that led to this eruption of rioting in Singapore, we need to go back to the founding of the new nation-state of Malaysia.